Hey guys, how's it going? So it's been ages since we've managed to do anything in the shed uh, regarding the scooter and how the scooter's build's going. Uh, the E300 scooter come to a grinding halt when some mad f***er decided to eat a bat. Uh, basically in infect the whole world with some kind of mad cold. Each to their own, you know, I, I do like a curry. As far as I'm willing to go, probably push to maybe in a duck, but not a bat. Uh, everything I had planned for the scooter come to a grinding halt. Uh, I had some parts ordered, ordered from Hong Kong, which, you know, took forever to get here. Uh, and then unfortunately when they did get here, it was like some kind of wild animal had decided to chew through my Amazon package and eat the content that had come from China. Uh, I, was, I was absolutely gutted. I literally waited probably two months for the part to come which is understandable with what's going on that's not too bad and when it arrived i was just like oh, two months waiting for this all right shall i check this here so this is the bag that was thrown on my doorstep and that's all like scratches and bite marks on the back so straight away i knew something was up i'm not like a detective but alarm bells was ringing so this was a controller that they sent me uh, it has got some hefty teeth mark here and here and it's crushed in the middle so thank you Amazon for that. The other thing was the display and a big bite mark in it as well can you see that so I'm not quite sure what's happening with that that bag's making lots of noise Shh. going back to the scooter build as you probably remember when I last did a video we were trying to go with the the Xiaomi. Somebody messaged me on YouTube and said, you're saying it wrong. It's actually Xiaomi. It's, it's pronounced with an S, not an X, which it just doesn't make any sense. Just, you know, speak English for fuck's sake. The Xiaomi, I used to call it, as you remember, but it's actually a Xiaomi M365 controller and this mad little display uh, that I got for the from the Pro, the M365 Pro which if you remember was beeping at me every two minutes and it was me off. After scratching my head for far too long and looking for hours on the end on the internet to see whether it can actually be done, uh, I just kept hitting a wall. So I come to terms with the fact that this wasn't gonna work with what I wanted it to do. Unfortunately, I think it would've been quite cool because um, I basically would've had the whole running gear from the Xiaomi M365, as in brakes, uh, throttle, obviously the wheel, we all know about this wheel, and then you had the display and the controller. Um, it just, it wasn't going to happen, and fair play to anyone who tries it and does get it to work. It would be quite interesting to see if he did and how he did it, because I wouldn't mind trying it again, because at the end of the day, these are useless to me now. So, yeah, so I went to plan, what we are now, plan F, plan C, D, I don't know, something like that. We're on a couple of plans down the road. So we are going to go stick with this wheel. Um, I'm 98% sure it will work with this wheel. So there's no issue there. Still going to use this battery pack um, from my other scooter. And if it works fine, I'll just order another one of these. The tray uh, is too short for my battery. So what I've done is I cut a massive chunk out the back. Uh, so what's going to happen now is my battery will go into that hole and it sits in there nice and neat as you can see which is pretty good and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make up um, a box section uh, and seal it so obviously we don't get no uh, water damage coming into it and obviously because we haven't got the motor in the back anymore we've got that extra room so that's all cool uh, so what I decided to do after Amazon disappointed me with that item from them went back to the drawing board and worked out what I could do and I went onto eBay and done a load more research and found this controller here. I'll try and put the link in the description because uh, from what I can gather, it's a decent controller. So I've had to modify it quite a little bit, not, not much. Um, basically some of the connectors that they give me what wouldn't work or won't work with the, the end connectors that come with the wheel. So I've had to cut a few wires um, I was going to make a video of it, but I think you guys are getting a bit bored of me electrocuting myself and 
just cutting random wires and working out what's what. So I've kind of, you know, done a blue Peter moment and set it all up and made sure it works. So when I do this video, I'm not spending hours and hours and hours scratching my head and swearing and wondering what to do next. So I've kind of got to the point where I know it will work um, because I have done a little cheeky blue Peter testing moment where I pulled the throttle back and the wheel started spinning, which is wicked. It did make my day. I've made this little mad contraption, which I don't know if you can see. Uh, it's just two bits of wood holding up the wheel. Hopefully, if it all powers up today, I'll pull the throttle back and you'll be able to see it. So the idea of getting this throttle, uh, it cost me 50, what did it cost me? About 55 pound, I think. Don't tell my missus, because she doesn't know I keep spending all this money on, on this scooter. So basically what, what it is, you got the controller, you got um, this cool display. So we've got uh, an actual display now, which is wicked. So, and it doesn't beep at me every two seconds, which is just brilliant. Uh, we've got uh, a throttle with the um, handlebar. And I think I've got, yeah, I've got another one on there for the other side. We've got a speed, speedo and a full sensor, I think this is. Something like that. We'll get there when, when we get there. Uh, what else do we get? Two brake levers and obviously the other side of the handlebar. So for £55, I think this, that's, that's the best option. So basically, I've, if you want, want to round it up pretty, pretty quick, um, I paid £15 for the initial uh, Razor E300 and then I stripped that and painted it, which you've seen. Um, I paid how much did I pay for the wheel? Um, I think that was about £55 as well for the wheel. Obviously £55 for this controller. I'm going to use the original back wheel so it's going to look like a bit of a hot rod where it's got a big wheel on the back and a slightly smaller one on the front. It might look a bit <laughs> We don't know until, it, until we put it all together. Um, I'm hoping it'll look pretty cool. Um, but if it doesn't, I think and for another wheel you're looking at about 35 quid, and then I'm going to have to adjust frame a little bit as well. Uh, we do know we're going to have to cut the front forks and bring the brackets in so it fits these new ones. So if you are planning on doing this build, so bear in mind you are going to have to do some welding on the front. Uh, I personally can't weld to save my life, um, but I do know a friend who can and he does like tinkering, so it's a win-win for me. And I like to spend a bit of time with him anyway because he's, he's a dude, so it's quite cool. Uh, I've ordered, the only other thing that we're waiting for is I've ordered a brake disc, a rear brake disc and a caliper to go on the back. And what will happen is I'll do the same as my other build, which you probably might have seen. I'll show you how to fit the brake disc onto a Razer E300 back wheel. Uh, it's pretty easy actually. You, you haven't got to do any cutting. Uh, you do have to drill through uh, the drum plate and just get some long bolts and you're pretty much there really to be honest with you that's pretty cool um, but I wanted to do this video tonight to um, one get back into the routine of doing them and two just basically get this prop this build back on the go because um, it would be nice to finish this before the winter so I get to the opportunity to use it uh, great news for the uh, electric scooter enthusiast uh, they are actually made them legal now in the UK Unfortunately, it's only legal if you want to hire one from a company. To be honest with you, it's a bit of a money-making scheme and a bit of a poor route of going for people that do own electric scooters at the moment. Bear in mind is chicks do love a bad boy. So if you are scooting around on your electric scooter and you're breaking the law, you know, everyone loves a rebel. Yeah, so basically I can start putting this all together. So what I'm going to do tonight is get all this connected up. I'm going to pull that throttle back and hopefully this display lights up and that will start spinning. And I do say hopefully with a pinch of salt. Right, so let's start connecting things together. So you've got your throttle, which is the other annoying thing actually is the controller that come with the um, display and the brakes and things like that they're not color coded um, some of the plugs can actually fit into other plugs which is a bit annoying really I think they should have done it where only the plug for this can only go into one of the plugs on that and then obviously 
not just wrap them all the same. Not making any sense whatsoever, but there's nothing new there. You're kind of used to that nowadays. Uh, so let's have a look. I think that one goes in there. And I do apologise if you can't see what I'm doing. I've got a little camera there, and I think it's probably pointing at the floor. I should know what I'm doing. I'm a natural. I'm a filmmaker, so I am. I'm supposed to be pretty good at this sort of stuff. Just like my scooter building, I'm just winging it. Um, and then when I put this together, there should be a small spark. And it is only small, but it always makes me jump. Like a little schoolgirl. There, right, and then, ready for this? Can you see? Ready? display and it's not beeping at me we are friends thank you eBay you Amazon so I, I've not really gone through this but I presume you can do so it shows you your speedo your battery power and your distance so how far you've gone I'm, I'm pretty pretty sure you can reset that once you're happy with where you've been I think that's different speeds you can go but I'm not 100% sure we just put it on two for now because so even number. Right, so I'm going to spin this and that's going to go around. It's either going to come flying towards me and damage me, or flying towards the wall and go through it, and then the shed collapses. And there's just me standing there with a throw. Uh, my imagination's running wild once again. Uh, but let's let's try and see how this works, shall we? Do you see that move? Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. So, technically, there's nothing stopping us. Let's turn it off. I'm wasting the batteries. There is nothing stopping us but putting this all together and having a running scooter um, as soon as we can get the wheel welded to the front of those forks. What episode are we on now? It's been that long, I can't even remember what episode we're on. That's bad, isn't it? I think I might as well start putting things into place now yeah there's nothing stopping us doing this now really but yeah i'll chuff for that but yeah thanks for watching guys as always i don't know it's been that long i can't remember what i used to say thanks for watching guys as always oh yeah jesus this is this is bad as always guys thank you for watching give us a thumbs up subscribe somewhere down the bottom and i will catch you in the next one